So talking about that space economy, I mean, what do you think the biggest areas of growth are going to be when we have vehicles like Starship? Is it, you know, these constellations of satellites that we were talking about, like Starlink? Is it exploration? Is it mining celestial bodies? I mean, where, where do you, what, are you, what interests you? Well, I think just the potential that it can do all of the above. Um, so, you know, you think about a, um, you know, a, uh, the DART mission recently. So the, uh, you know, the space vehicle that essentially crashed into an asteroid to determine, um, you know, to learn from it as a pot potential defense mechanism for a future asteroid, uh, you know, impact in, or potential impact into Earth. And then I think about, well, what if you had, you know, essentially 500 starships because they're building factories in Texas and Florida to mass produce these things in a very like simple, reliable way. You wouldn't have to spend hundreds of millions or billions of dollars building one-offs of anything, a one-off, you know, asteroid interceptor, a one-off telescope, a one-off, you know, spaceship design. Like you literally could put a giant telescope in a starship. You could put, you know, a, a, a system into a starship to attack a incoming asteroid. Um, it's like almost like a prefab, uh, low cost, highly reusable uh, structure that can do almost anything in low Earth orbit. You want to put out, you know, a uh, hundred potential cube satellites that build a constellation that does something that makes Earth a better place. You totally can do it. I mean, you, you already have that now with uh, with Starlink, you know, over 3000 satellites in low Earth orbit that is bringing connectivity um, to disconnected communities all over the world. I mean, you're not going to run fiber lines across rainforests and deserts, but you still got to bring access to information to, to these parts of the world. Starlink can do that in an incredibly low cost way. And when you connect the world, think of how many problems you can solve. You know, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is a, is a very important part of the Polaris program. Um, it goes right back to that focus of of trying to, you know, solve problems here on Earth while building a better future, you know, for a better future for tomorrow. You know, the childhood cancer survival rate in the U.S. has gone up, you know, threefold since St. Jude, um, you know, opened its doors 60 years ago. The rest of the world is not caught up. I mean, the number one factor in childhood cancer survival rates um, is, you know, where you're born in the world. Now, imagine with Starlink technology and you can connect some of these really remote places, you're going to find families that didn't even know they need the help of an organization like St. Jude in the form of telemedicine. Um, and you're going to raise childhood cancer survival rates around the world. That's just a start. There's education, right? I mean, it, this is foundational to solving a lot of the world's problems. And it's only achievable with rapid reusable uh, rocket technology that brings costs down. Now multiply that times, I don't know, 100 when Starship comes online. The world is going to be a better place. You just can't point your finger on exactly which one it will be.